Hey kids, welcome back to Honestville. Uh, very excited to continue with this new Let's Play series. Um, I actually did a bit of work on this tile uh, off screen, and then I did do about 40 minutes of recorded video, and I had a weird problem where the sound uh, in the game, not my recording software, but the game, suddenly cut out. Uh, and I, I basically decided to just start where I left off. Uh, part of the reason was that I, I essentially, let's load up the region while I talk here, uh, I essentially I built a few more roads, uh, just kind of connecting to the neighboring cities here, uh, and then just started zoning farms, and it wasn't all that fun to watch. A lot of it was just me waiting for money to, you know, appear in the budget and and build farms. So I've decided that it, it'll be make a more interesting episode if I just pick up where I left off. I do have that recording, and, you know, some of it was interesting, but, but you know, we can just go over some of the stuff that I did quickly now. It'll be a lot more interesting. I, I want to... We'll see. We'll see how I want to pace this series, but I, I, I do want to pace it a little bit different differently than Plantation Bay and do a little bit more work off-screen. Um, I have thought about a few things in terms of the mod setting. I've done some testing in another region uh, with my current uh, mod list set up. And one thing I found is that the radius doubler, I, I was curious to see just how much of an effect the radius doubler would have on the budget. And it basically makes it super easy to make a lot of money. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. On the one hand, uh, I have never found um, I have never found the uh, making money to be very difficult in this game. Uh, in in the long run, as you get a bigger city, uh, I've never found that to be particularly uh, difficult. It, it the challenge is is there's not much of a challenge to do that. Um, but uh, you know, so on the, on the one hand, it could be interesting to just do a very design heavy region. Um, where we don't worry so much about uh, the challenge of making money and the challenge is more about, you know, developing the whole region. On the other hand, if I do find that it becomes just kind of pain, almost painfully easy in terms of the budget, then I would consider, um, I would certainly consider um, maybe removing the Radius Doubler mod. Uh, it, it works in a strange way in conjunction with the Residential ha ha Haver mod, where uh, Halver, I don't know even how, how you say that, uh, in, in, se in the sense that you end up having to pay very little for, for a lot of your services. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. Uh, I, I got to say, I really don't like the Radius in vanilla uh, Sim, SimCity 4. I find that they're just ridiculously small. Uh, the A lot of the vanilla... Um, buildings, you know, police fire and all that, are really designed uh, for much of this game, when it was originally designed, was designed to make the, the, the challenge, uh, you know, most of the challenges occur in like a small, compact, one-tile city region. So when we get into this kind of more modded, uh, large regional gameplay, a lot of the, you know, originally intended challenges of the game are, are actually not really present, uh, and the challenges are more in terms of the actual planning of the region rather than uh, rather than uh, than the sort of budget and the little mini games that are built into the game. So I don't know. Also, I have made a list of all of you your neighborhood recommendations, um, and I ha I have a. I've kept a list with all of your names and city name recommendations. I don't think I'm going to put them in yet. I want to wait until the region gets a little bit bigger so that I can make better choices about where they go. And I'll probably do maybe next episode or, you know, I'm, I'll let them accumulate for a while and then do a whole, like, naming thing. So all you guys have submitted names. I love it. Uh, I've got lots of good suggestions. Uh, and I will be putting them in there. And I haven't forgotten you. I just, I want to... Uh, I want to wait, hold off a bit on just dropping names everywhere and do it in a kind of somewhat systematic way. Um, I'm going to go with the cardinal directions with the wards, and I'm also going to give all of the wards in the city numbers, kind of following the Parisian system in a kind of concentric circle. I think that could be really cool. So someone suggested that, and it was something that I was already actually considering myself. So, so I will be, uh, I will be doing that. I'll probably give every zone like this will be like the first ward. Uh, every zone will get a ward number. Okay, I need to force these farms to develop. Oh, hmm, I need more residential. Interesting. Uh, okay, uh, I left an area here that I wanted to uh, zone. Uh, I can show you guys what I did with the road network. Uh, it's basically a radial road network that radiates out from the central point here, and that aims to try and provide 
you know, regional roads for the surrounding regions so that the city can, the cities in the neighboring regions, once this city expands to its limits, we'll, be, we'll start farming all off screen. I'll probably build a bunch of farms in the surrounding tiles and uh, develop along these kind of lines kind of radiating out from the central city. Uh, and I noticed in my test region that building roads first worked pretty well. Uh, building roads first worked pretty well. You, I end up wanting to, I end up upgrading them to avenues, and I think uh, rather than put in a rail network early on, I think I'll actually put in um, some kind of elevated train network, uh, which will then, um, which which will then be, uh, uh, you know kind of have rail developed along it as kind of an express network. So that's my plan. We'll see how it evolves. Oh, I built a, I replaced those, um, I replaced those uh, windmills with a coal. This is temporary. I'll be deleting this and building, uh, building one of the super big, super large uh, coal plants somewhere, uh, probably in this tile. And I'm going to try and sell power to the neighboring tiles and have one kind of centralized power plant for the region. Um, so let's just do some residential development here. I, there's a little bit of farming left to do in this tile, so I haven't done all of it off screen. I wanted to kind of show you guys the method that I'm going to be following in the neighboring regions, and I will be doing some of it off screen because I, you know, I just, at the end of the day, you know, feel free to comment on all the things I'm talking about in terms of the radius mod. I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, I do listen to your comments and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very interested to know what you think is fun to watch and what you think is maybe not so fun to watch. I also expect that some people watching these videos are kind of skipping ahead, you know, uh, and not necessarily watching every minute of every video. I, ex I would fully expect that. Uh, these are long videos uh, and that, that to me is just the normal way that you watch these series on, on YouTube. However, uh, I'm very, I'll be very curious to hear you guys uh, feedback and know what you guys think about uh, about this series and how it's shaping up. Um, but uh, but yeah, okay, how are we gonna do this here? Uh, I think I'll just stop there for now. Kind of leave a little buffer zone there on the edge of the city. And we'll just put two cross streets like this. Curious to see how well used these bus lines are because I'm I'm, I'm choosing to a very minimal minimalist approach to uh, to busing. So can I get this to turn into some kind of intersection? Hmm. Got to get rid of some of these extra roads. Trying not to make too much of a mess. Uh, I end up doing things quite quickly in these uh, let's plays, and sometimes the result of that is that there's just kind of like you know little little messes that I leave sprinkled across the map. Uh, so trying to avoid that as much as possible. We might be getting close to the limit of how much uh, how much uh, agriculture we can get this region to support, but that's okay. I've mostly filled it up with farms. A lot of these farms are going to be rezoned. Most of these farms, I think, are going to probably be rezoned to... This is a garbage uh, disposal facility, by the way. I ho I'm hoping that it will work. Um, I didn't want to build landfill because I might want to move it somewhere else afterwards. You know, so it's a little bit of a different, a uh, little bit of a different series in Plantation Bay. A little bit less vanilla, more mod intensive. Probably, m probably more focused on uh, regional planning uh, than on some of the more, you know, uh, vanilla ways of playing the game. Uh, but we'll see. It's uh, it's something that's going to evolve as I play. Um, I, I last episode I set out a a number of kind of realism principles that I want to follow and. Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that feels. Um, we'll see whether that's fun, whether it's interesting to watch, um, whether I want to make uh, make changes to that later. Um, yeah. So, but uh, I think this is going to be. I think this is a great map. Um, I've been I've I've been loving the comments. I've saw lots of you guys. Um, Lots of you guys commenting, uh, you know, asking questions about how to download this region and stuff like that. And I noticed on the SimCity forums, I think uh, people have been downloading Plantation Bay and the Altana region that, that Honestville is based on. So it is just, uh, you know, really, really cool to see that these videos are inspiring people to, to play the game. Um, and, you know... In, in whatever way you guys want to play the game with whatever mods you want, but I really do enjoy uh, I, do, I do enjoy the uh, you know 
the fact that these videos are are inspiring people to play the game. Right uh, now, one thing I've been thinking a lot about uh, is I want to I want to start I want to play with uh, I want to put a lot more parks in in, in my cities. Uh, Plantation Bay basically had almost no parks. Uh, <laughs> I just I I did not integrate parks into the basic kind of urban design. So I'm not going to build parks right now because I kind of don't want. Um, I don't want to give these sims any amenities, I want to just force them into agriculture so I can fill out the region. Uh, so I'm going to hold off for now, but uh, very soon, before before I start developing the city, um, I will put like just tons and tons of parks, small parks on every block kind of thing. Um, I, you know, I want to spend a little bit more time kind of landscaping and stuff like that. I think we're getting a little bit of abandonment. Uh, I noticed that this development model does tend to lead to a lot of this kind of situation here. Low occupancy, abandonment, and stuff like that um, because of the transportation network. Uh, and uh, there are ways that we will be fixing that. Like these buses aren't getting used and the bus network is probably not quite dense enough for, for the for the sims, but there's there's ways that we do that. And essentially it is by bringing the employment a little bit closer to the sims. And I do that with uh, commercial zones. So what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna quickly finish up this agricultural, these agricultural zones here. Uh, and I'm going to go out into the regional view and we're going to look at the region and I've, 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 I have some thoughts about how I think will be the best way to, uh, to, to go forward in this region. And uh, yeah, so, so I, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be putting some, an industry in a neighboring city and we're going to be essentially where you see the roads that I've laid down here. Uh, those are going to be commercial roads, and they'll eventually be upgraded to avenues. And okay, we're having a little bit of farmland here that won't develop. Let's see if I can kind of force it. I don't know if I've run out of demand again. Um, one trick I, I've mentioned this in other videos before. One trick for agriculture is is for some reason uh, when you build a lot of farms, sometimes they they don't they stop developing. If you delete the road access, it seems to kind of refresh. Yeah, see, there we go. As soon as I delete those roads, it, these uh, <coughs> these farms um, start uh, start developing. So it's a weird trick, but it does work. We're making a lot of money right now. Um, it took me, I had to run the simulation for you know quite a long time to to get the budget going in the way that I wanted to do, which 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 makes me question whether I should be playing in hard mode, whether it's even worth it, uh, given the goals of this. But I gotta say, I just uh, I I. I appreciate how hard mode forces me to kind of slow down the pace of development, the early development of cities. Um, I, I just I find that I when I have 500k in the bank at the start of the of, at the start of the game, I, I am just way too tempted to to just build a wild amount of stuff early on. And you know, I, I find that uh, this kind of radial road network has an interesting effect on how you develop your cities because you really do your your development kind of responds somewhat naturally to to needs. If you build a heavy transportation infrastructure from from the get-go, uh, often you end up with underused transportation. Um, and that's what happened in Plantation Bay. I, I had these really cool kind of radial rail networks that just never ended up getting used. And, and you know, that's a shame. I was hoping that we would be able to, in Plantation Bay, get like a super busy rail network going. And, and it just, it didn't really happen to the degree that I wanted. And yeah, you know, it's hard. It's hard in this game. But if I'm, I think if I, if I progressively move from one type of, of transportation to another, uh, you know, kind of experimentally, I think I should be able to encourage uh, the type of development that I want. We'll talk more about that in a second. I'm going to finish up what I'm doing here. Give you guys a sense, uh, far zoning farms on these fucking diagonals is a real, real hassle. The farm zone has a minimum, a fairly small uh, minimum zone size. And part of what that does is, is it means that it's very hard to do kind of detail work. Like as soon as I go too narrow or whatever, you end up having to kind of zone and dezone repetitively. So, you know, um, let's try and zone this whole area here and then I can go back and I just sort of dezone the, the excess here and stuff. But I can't zone individual tiles. Uh, it won't let me do that. 
I I am aware of the spam uh, ag agriculture mod. The, it's the Simpeg agriculture mod, and you know it's a mod that uh, by all means, if you want to download that mod and play with it, it's a very interesting way to play the game. I have not enjoyed it though, for the purpose of the kind of cities that I like to build, which are these large kind of regional metropolis or you know cities with a million or more population. I find that it it is it is really geared towards a very heavily agricultural region. Uh, uh, and and the development it, it it affects the entire development of the whole region in such a way that um, that uh, development ends up being a little bit weird uh, and so I, I I have opted not to use it I strongly considered it I experimented with it uh, a while back quite a while back now at this point before I even started plantation Bay and I I just found that overall it was just not uh, not not worth it in my opinion not uh, not I, I didn't I I found that it I also found that it was kind of buggy and crashy the spam mod and and you know maybe you guys have have played with it and enjoyed it uh, and you know I don't think it's a bad mod uh, I just uh, it's not uh I, I don't I, I it's not my thing. Um, same thing goes for the uh, the Cam the Colossus out on mod. I I it's been a while. I should give uh, Cam a go at some point um, in a fresh region. Maybe I can do a little mini series where I, I look at the Cam and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, you know, or at some point in the future, another region. But I overall okay, this is really not working, is it? Um, I I. Last, last time I played with it, I wasn't too happy with it, let's put it that way. Um, hmm. We we're making a lot of money. Uh, might be a good time to figure out our power plant, plant situation. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just leave an area here. I'm getting a little bit... Uh, oh, this, this, let's try and fix this one. I'm not exactly sure why this trick works. But as always, guys, if you uh, if you have suggestions, if you notice me doing something that you think I you know there's a better way to fix these problems, uh, by all means recommend it. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be doing most of this kind of stuff off screen though. I think for this let's play, well, we got one over here that ooh, what the hell happened here? Oh no, that's okay. That's just a proper farm. Okay, that's fine. I, there's a bit of an abandonment in the agricultural areas, uh, and that is due to. Um, I, 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 my theory is that it's my, it's my, my NAM settings, uh, my tra transportation settings. Um, that's my theory. Uh, I think that uh, Sims uh, don't like the poor Sims that work on farms uh, want to take transit, and that the, the farms don't have transit. So they, there is a bit of a weird abandonment thing. I honestly don't care um, I the goal of having all these farms is more to to make the city look a certain way kind of when viewed from an airplane view you know when we're in the regional view I like to have this the sort of region surrounded by agriculture uh, I I'm done I'm done trying to fix that uh, okay <coughs> this is interesting uh, I made a lot of money farming we're making five grand a month <coughs> excuse me uh, it's time to uh, think about the region and uh, yeah, I'm like, I think there's there's a few little gaps in this uh, in in the farms, mostly just this one, I think. Yeah, uh, that's fine. We can uh, we can do something over here. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna build the power plant that I want to build is the gigantic large coal plants. I had initially thought, is it this one? No, it's this one. Is it? I think it's this one. There's a few that are basically identical that use the same. One of these has a big parking lot. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Oh, it's not that expensive, I guess. Do I want this one, though? One of these has a huge parking lot, and the other one has um, the same building with no parking lot, but it and provides a lot more power. I think... I think it's this one that I want. The large one that provides, like, 600,000 for the whole region. Yeah, that's the one I want. Interesting. I thought it was more expensive to build. Um, yeah. So uh, the place I want to put the power plant is in this tile. Let's uh, save. Let's save the game. I got to get a backup setup for this region too. I, I'm kind of uh, playing with fire here. Um, I got. I haven't set up my my backup yet. Um, so 
I should probably do that after I make this video. Uh, just, uh, you know, I've been doing lots of stuff, I'm working on some other series, and, and these little little tasks uh, get away from me at some point. But last thing I want is to have to redo one of these off map, off, off screen or something. But yeah, uh, I, my idea is to have one power plant for all of these, like, what is this, one, two, three, seven tiles, right? Uh, one power plant for the seven tiles, and the best way place for us to do that is by putting it in honest fill. Uh, and I think this area is actually a good area to do it. Um, the I wanted to build an industrial area here. Let's take a look at the satellite view here for a second. So what I was thinking was I would start by building an industrial area kind of, you know, along this area here some residential areas kind of surrounding it and then commercial along the the roads that connect between the two tiles and that's kind of the development pattern that we'll be following around as we expand this city um, so so and I may I'll probably expand Honestville first uh, we'll see how much of this tile we can kind of fill out and then I'll go to the surrounding ones do the agriculture kind of, I want to create like a ring of agriculture and once the city grows to you know if I have a little bit of like urbanized areas around the edges of all of these tiles um, I'll probably stop the growth for a while and sort of focus on upgrading transportation and densifying the central areas and stuff like that. We'll see. We'll see. It's all going to happen, you know, sequentially based on what I think makes sense at various times. Yeah, we got a little forest going on there. That's fine. That's fine. A little bit of variety, right? Um, so you can see here with these road networks, I've got a road leading here, road leading here, one there, one there, one there. Um, and one there, one there. This one I imagine will sort of go out this way. This one will sort of go here. This one will kind of follow the crest of that hill. This one will follow the coast. Like, you know, just kind of having these roads that are... I know it looks kind of artificial with these big diagonal roads, but once the city gets built up, I find it will actually look surprisingly kind of natural, um, you know, uh, once it gets built up. Um, anyway, we'll see. Uh, so I think, yeah, I just wanted to kind of confirm, uh, I think, uh, I think I'll build the power plant here and then we'll, we'll build out, uh, on, uh, Honestville Central a bit more. I'm going to rename these tiles so every war will be numbered and, and I'm, I'll stick with the cardinal directions for now, but some of the names you guys submitted will also end up being names, but every ward is going to have a number, uh, and that's going to make it a little bit easier for me to, uh, to navigate. So at this point, uh, I think we're going to basically... Oh, we're almost out of residential demand. Interesting. We might have to... Hmm. Might have to build some... some we might have to start by building a little bit of industry in this tile, I think. I don't think we can grow the city without doing that. So something we'll think about. Now, it's the large coal power plant that I want, and I'm wondering... Ooh, can I even fit it here? I think it might have to be kind of right here. Hmm. It might have to be even over here. And this is going to cause pollution, uh, no doubt. I'm not. I don't. I'm not really that concerned about the pollution it will cause. I think I might want to actually keep this coastal road kind of intact. So maybe I'll just get rid of some of the residential areas here and build this giant power plant. And I think it's going to look cool having this big looming power plant that that powers the entire region. It will create a, a, a you know a, a pollution a fairly substantial pollution radius, but I'm going to try and avoid, it's going to be just this one corner of the map that's going to have that pollution, so I think we're going to do it. I've dropped a save in case the results of this are just are too cataclysmic, but but yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. Uh, large coal power plants. Terrain to, oh no. Hmm. Can I fix this? Can I make it work? I don't know why it doesn't like this. I had this problem in Plantation Bay, I can remember it. I don't know whether I fix I don't think I fixed it either, so I'm a little bit concerned. There, there's something a bit buggy about this uh, this power plant. I have built it before, and when it works, it looks great. Hmm. Where exactly is this terrain too steep? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I can build the other one. Okay, well, you know, I, I, I wanted to build the big one with the parking lot. On the other hand, this one is a bit smaller. I might be able to fit it over here. Yeah, I, I just don't, I don't want to, this road is, this is a very efficient, I think, in, 
my opinion, fairly efficient road design, so I'm just not sure that I actually want to, uh, I actually want to change that. Mm. So I think what I want to do is maybe build it, it's 165,000, so I only get one shot at this. <laughs> I think I want to build it like here. Oh. It's okay. It's got these roads, road connections. I was kind of hoping those would line up a little bit better, but that's okay. Yeah, we can actually connect these. Uh, these these are functional road connections. This one's this is kind of cool. And I think that still functions. Okay, and we'll just build out the road network to kind of meet it. Uh, fairly important to have a road going all the way around this. Uh, the other one does have this big functional parking lot, and it's nice, but there's something wrong with that. Uh, there's something. There's just something wrong with that building. Uh, that it, it the, the terrain too steep thing is just does not make, does not make sense. I'm zoning this residential for now, uh, but I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I will probably end up zoning some industry uh, on sort of the back end of this here. Um, I need to give the I need to give our Sims water as well. Um, again, the budget situation is a uh, is a little bit uh, weird here. I'm almost tempted to go straight for the large water pump, uh, but I'll probably just stick with this one for now. I'll just put it here. I'm gonna put two of these. Uh, oh, I already gave water. Where did I put the other one? Oh, I had I totally forgot that I gave these folks water. Okay, let's uh, just get rid of that. No, uh, no need for an for a individual water tower. I'm going to replace those with a large pumping station as soon as possible. I, I think I will play with the radius doubler and the kind of basically super easy budget um, for now. Uh, I think uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, I think, you know, again, please please do comment uh, if, you, if you don't like the, that idea. Um, I will take it into consideration. I, it's not that it's not that hard to kind of go back and and get rid of that mod and uh, and you know you just have to load up the city tiles and and as long as we haven't built up too many tiles it won't be that big of a, a deal to to you know uh, change the services and if it means that we lose a bit of our education or whatever it's just not the end of the world uh, I, I I'm gonna play with my current setup for now and you know if I end up saving up like 17 million dollars or whatever and I feel like it's it, it, the game has lost all of its challenge then what I'll do is is I'll get rid of the radius doubler and then I'll probably lose all that money by having to pay for more expensive services so it'll all it'll all come to the same thing in the end I think Let's just uh, let's just kind of complete the road, the uh, water network here. So that trying to lay down these networks um, in advance, and also things like fire and police, just get that all done at once, uh, so that I don't have to go back and uh, do it again later. Uh, might be a good time for me to think about uh, park design. I have some ideas about that. I have some ideas about that. Um, parks for sure. I've got all of my bus stops. I've got all my bus stops. Let's just take a look at our RCI for now. They've got their water. My budget, I'm not making that much crazy money anymore. I think I'm fully funding this thing. So yeah, so this one doesn't have uh, 600,000 capacity. It has, what, 100,000? So, okay. We'll just put this to half for now, but we sh with a hundred thousand capacity, we should be able to power power the region for some time, and and at, at a later point, we'll maybe spread out some of those. Um, oh, okay, this garbage facility is not working. There's something I'm using a few modded garbage facilities like this one, and I don't know, guys. I just don't know. Yeah, the capacity is not registering. I I really do not don't know what the problem is. Um, if any of you do, please let me know. Um, maybe I'll uh, make a dump, dump here. This is not a good place for a dump. Uh, this is, this is going to be a good place for a commercial area. So uh, maybe I will... Let me just try and delete it and rebuild it on the uh, other side of the map over here. Might as well... up this uh, area 
Garbage disposal yards. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. It may be that these require some kind of road or rail connection or something. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, what does it say? Garbage disposal facility with single track rail access, 7 by 5. I also have noticed that these seem to work a bit better uh, if I actually zone a little bit of sort of dump beside them. So let's just kind of try that um, at the risk of creating a bit of a disaster here. Let's just do that. See if that works. Capacity. Let's, uh, the only way to check this is really with the garbage capacity thing here. Yeah, see, we're gonna hit capacity, and this this thing is not does not seem to like it's supposed to provide a huge amount of capacity. It's clearly not working. Fifty thousand is supposed to be our, our current capacity, so I don't understand. I don't know what is wrong. Oh no, I don't know what's wrong with those. Um, I really hope that the fire trucks are able to put the fire out there. I've been having some trouble with fire trucks uh, not able to put out fires at their destination, so just keep an eye on this and make sure this actually works. Also, build a police station here. Yeah, we're definitely uh, we're having trash trash problems once again. Let's uh, let's give some fire protection to this rather large, um, maybe a small one. Kind of dedicated for this corner of the map. Yep. Jesus. I, I, I honestly, like, I'm almost considering putting in a mod that just stops, prevents fires from happening. It's, this is not, uh, this is one of those mini games that was included in the vanilla version uh, that I just don't think is interesting. I don't think it's interesting or fun to put out fires, to send out the fire trucks, so. I think we, I think, I think most of us are going to agree on that. Um, okay, yeah, so we are weird. I think we're not over capacity. Um, let's try... We are over budget, though. That's fine. Um, I can zone more. Uh, doing a lot of experimenting, uh, experimenting with mods. Um... You know, this is this is a very experimental series. So let's put in um, a large recycling center. Trying to keep this little forest buffer going on here. Someone pointed out that I can hit Control Shift Alt and um, what's that do to my capacity? Garbage. Hmm. So the recycling center is reducing how much garbage we're producing. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't. These. There's something wrong with these, though. There is. I know there is. I just. I. What I can't do is I may at some point create a region that's just like a, a giant dump. <coughs> Sorry, but uh, but you know I'm not going to do that yet. Right. So time to think about expanding. Um, no, we haven't. This hasn't all built up yet. I've got a fair amount of residential demand here. Um, probably not a bad idea to um, upzone some of this. I think I'll upzone along the coast. You know what? Let's actually build out to the uh, build out to the coast here. Just kind of extend these roads and just build out to the coast. We'll keep the density low for now. This region will will very quickly be pretty much filled with medium density, though, um, for sure. This this sorry this this city tile is what I mean. Oh, I've still got this stupid power plant. That is entirely unnecessary. Uh, do I even need this? None of it. No, go away. Okay. Yeah, we'll just build out to the uh, build out to the coast here. Move this bus stop. Trying to remember to use hotkeys. <laughs> I 
probably going to want to put um put a uh, a ferry service here. I think this is like the ideal place for a ferry service, and I think probably going to want to put a bridge here. Uh, I think it makes a lot of sense to have this bridge and then kind of run into that road there. Yeah, like have a road that kind of curves up here and goes into a bridge. We'll see. I'm not going to do it yet. It's not necessary. Start doing some. Um, start doing some uh, some commercial development soon as well. Um, let's just do. This could be a cool thing too. Just gonna do a little diagonal. There we go. And let's just zone on that residential. And then once we see what our budget looks like, I'm going to start giving these folks some services. Right, uh, let's do this a little bit differently here. Once again, uh, doing a fair amount of zoning uh, in this episode, but I'll probably I'll probably start doing a little bit of this kind of stuff off screen. I'm just not sure. I, I, I've been saying that the entire time I've been doing these Let's Plays. Like, oh, I'm going to do some more stuff off screen so you guys don't have to watch the tedious parts. And then I invariably just, you know, end up doing a lot of it on screen. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. Whatever feels right. Uh, I have also, I've mentioned in the past the idea of like accelerating some of these videos, um, and I know a lot of people do that with uh, SimCity 4 Let's Plays. They, they, they do like these kind of uh, sped up videos, uh, and it's not a bad idea. Uh, I'll tell you one thing though, is that it requires, uh, it requires a, another step to the process for me, which is editing. Um, every video needs to be, you know, if I'm going to speed something up using editing software, um, it's not the time it takes to edit it, it's the time it takes to render the video. Um, as, it's, as it stands now, I am able to, you know, within an hour or two of me recording these videos, I am able to post them and get them on YouTube, uh, which means I'm able to do one or two of these videos a week. Uh, if I have to render them, that adds an hour or two uh, or more, depending on how big the file is, to that process. Um, so uh, that's why I have not opted to do things like that. Um, also, I would have to separate out the audio in some weird way, and I, you know, it just, it just, it just, it, it's a more, it's a more labor-intensive uh, process for me, uh, and I, I'm not sure that I, I think it's uh, worth it. Um, and I'm not sure that the result is as interesting either. Um, there are a fair number of videos out there. I mean, they're good videos in a lot of ways. There are a fair number of videos out there where someone is basically like narrating an accelerated, um, uh, an accelerated, you know, playthrough of 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 uh, SimCity 4, and um, you know, I feel like my my let's plays are, are just a different are, are a different thing. Um, they're not that. Uh, so, we'll see. Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point I'll do a, very, a, a huge amount of, of developments and, and accelerate the whole process and then talk, talk about what I'm doing. Um, record the audio afterwards. It's, it's, it's easy enough to do in certain ways. Just a very different, different process in terms of creating the video. You gotta record your audio separately, um, essentially. Um, You have to watch the video and kind of narrate it after you've already made it. Okay. Um, if any of you guys, I, I installed the Pedriana Plant Killer mod. Uh, actually, I, I installed Corey's Corey from Simtropolis. I installed her her version of that mod. 
Um, that mod gets rid of the, what is it, stage 5 or whatever, um, the, the kind of ugly agricultural plant that tends to completely dominate your cities uh, once you get them to a certain size and continue building farms. I installed that mod uh, and I, I, from what I, I assume it's working, uh, I don't think we've gotten to the stage where it, it it will affect anything yet, but uh, if any of you guys know, uh, you know, again, I'm not, I will not use the the spam mod. I'm not, I, I'm just, I'm not doing it. Um, not for this playthrough anyway. Um, but if any of you guys know of really cool mods that add new farm buildings, that add more variety to farms, uh, please, please do. Um, what the fuck? Oh, it's not liking this, uh, this sort of angled thing, whatever. Just gonna leave that. Um, please do recommend them. Uh, you know, I will. Uh, I will look into them. Anything that adds a little bit of variety. Um, I. I have not edited. I don't have a mod that changes the number of jobs on farms. I'm using the vanilla numbers because I find that actually they're surprisingly fine. Uh, so. So uh, you know, it doesn't really matter in terms of jobs. Uh, I don't want farms that give too many jobs. Uh, if, if the farms give too many jobs, then then you know I, I find it doesn't make for a realistic region. I don't. I think these folks need water. Oh no, they have it. Okay. Yeah, with the with the residential hover, you really have to build a lot of residential before you use up your demand, and I I, I quite like it that way. I quite like it that way. We're having a little bit of trouble getting them to uh, getting them to develop around the power plant, which is unsurprising. What's going on here, though? Should be getting a bit more development. I think it's a it's a lack of employment ultimately. I think we should probably do uh, an industrial zone. Um, and I think what we'll do is. Uh, I always build a uh, high density industry. Just start with a small one. I build the high in, uh, density industry because I, I just find it more interesting. More interesting buildings. Um, also, the factories in this game tend to be a bit too small for uh, for what they would be realistically. Factories are, you know, usually pretty big. The the, the medium industry is very light industry. I find uh, it doesn't make sense for me in a large region like this. Why is the industry not developing? We have, it's mostly dirty industry that we have uh, demand for. Are we making money? Okay, let's give them some, uh, let's give them some schools. This is a very experimental region, guys. Um, we will run into some, some hiccups along the way. We, we will, I know it. Uh, some, some things are going to not work as intended, and uh, it's not going to be quite as predictable as Plantation Bay. The mod setup I had with Plantation Bay I have been using for a very long time. Uh, cool, I can build a school here that serves the entire region. That's what I was going for with this Radius Doubler mod. That was the plan. Let's build it here. And I had this idea uh, in terms of parks. I'm going to do some parks now. Uh, let's, uh, let's clean this up and make it nicer. I had this idea in terms of parks uh, where I would create these kind of like recreation centers around schools, um, kind of like you see in the, some of the suburban areas in American cities, but also in urban areas where uh, a lot of city services are, oh Jesus, I was hoping to be able to kind of flatten the road tiles, oh no, yeah I think it's going to work. This one, no, did it just fuck everything up? I can't tell. Mm, I think it might have. Yep. See if I can get this to work. Maybe I'll just build another school. Got lots of money. Mm. I'm not digging that. I don't know if that's a fence. Oh, I think it's just a fence. No, no, no. See, it's like, it's that's what I hate. I think if I build the roads first. Large elementary school. Probably end up moving this at some point. That looks better. 
That looks better. Probably end up moving this at some point. Um, might have to build a bridge here or whatever, so... Alright, and then yeah, so what I was thinking was that we would kind of make this look like a little bit more like a um, small American city. Oh, I've got those to build as well. I'm going to build all that now. Um, make it look a little bit more like a small American city in terms of things like softball fields right by the uh, school. And yeah, let's just put a, a, a large kind of park area here. Cool. And we'll we can we can move this around and reconfigure it later. Um, gonna be doing a lot more detail work in this uh, in this playthrough. What else do I want? I don't want to go com completely batshit crazy here, but let's uh, let's build our other school facilities first. Let's put a high school in here. Kind of near all of these uh, these facilities. <coughs> Okay, just build a road out to that. Kind of neat this little peninsula here with all these services on it. Hmm, what else? Maybe a playground. I feel like the playground should be on the same side of the road as the school. <laughs> Kids have to walk through the parking lot to go to the playground. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think we'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to go for a library though at the same time, for sure. The library maybe there. And everything else I think is good. Uh, probably hold off. Uh, build a university soon. Um, not going to build a hospital quite yet, but I will soon. Get some higher end development going in here. Um, let's think about where to put this farmer's market. I'd like to kind of create a, a market square somewhere. Ooh, this road is not connected. Probably why it's not developing. Hmm. That's plaza here. It's funny how these radiuses are, are circular, of course, because it would be quite a long drive from here all the way around this bay, right? <laughs> Should probably actually put a put a. Um, Probably think about putting a ferry for now. I'm kind of liking this corner here uh, for a market. I like these uh, these kind of star-shaped intersections. It's kind of focal points for the city. Um, building out from those. Mm, I need to go a bit further. I don't want to delete that barn for now anyway. I'm not going to totally rezone this area quite yet. And then, one way. There we go. Very cool. Looks nice to me. As the city builds out, as we develop the land around here, these, these squares start to look really nice, get surrounded by taller buildings and stuff. Uh, you're kind of laying the groundwork for for later stuff. Uh, mayor's house. Uh, I always like to live by the water. Not so much in real life, but in these games I do. Hmm. That looks like a beach house over here. This looks like prime beach. On the other hand, I like to live in town. I'm trying to find one of these spots that's a little bit more awkward for... Uh, developing other facilities. Let's go there. There we go. Alright, that's all of our rewards. Uh, let's just wait until we've... Let's 
wait until our budget kind of adapts. We might need to uh, might need to lower some of the. Oh, we've got a church. Placing that soon. Yeah, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to lower the funding on some of these. I'm not gonna lower them too much uh, because I this is. You know, once we get going here, I know I'm kind of developing slowly right now, but once we get going here, they're, they're going to develop quite quickly. A little bit confused as to why I'm not getting uh, much more residential development here, but okay. I'm going to want to densify this, uh, this stuff soon. Uh, even more confused about why the industry is not building properly. I mean, it probably needs another road, actually. That's probably what it is. Just put in another little street here. Probably, there's not really much in the way of... Oh, I know why. Oh, God, that's just silliness. It's because uh, this this road does, it has, a, has a fence there. Um, that's why. That is why. We have the state fair. I kind of want to build it. Um, kind of hilarious to have a, the state fair in the city, kind of a Coney Island type situation. Quite, we're still a quite small city here, but uh, I'm overfunding everything. Um, but uh, but you know it will get big, surprisingly quickly, let's say. Right. Uh, let's before I forget. Uh, there's just no reason not to. This should be a bridge right here, actually. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I want to think very carefully about where I put my bridges. Probably gonna end up building them and rebuilding them anyway. All right. Uh, hold on to the state fair for now. Our new church and cemetery. Maybe we'll put it on the edge here. near this square. And then I, I, I do want to put some parks. I'm going to wait until... Uh, yeah, there we go. Putting the church beside the cemetery, like in uh, more or less like in real life. <laughs> we can do a similar thing over here. Cemetery fit there. And I guess we'll find out. We can always move it after. Education should be slowly going up here once it gets to about 80 or 100. Um, we, we won't need too much uh, too much industry. So I, I don't want to kind of overzone industry in this in this region for sure. Just along the edge here, bus network is not particularly well designed to uh, to bring people to this this industry either, so. Let's just develop all this. Right down to here. Uh, probably need some roads in there too. Streets anyway. dirty. There's some manufacturing as well. 
starting to get some of those bigger buildings. I like the big industrial buildings. They're cool. I think I'd want to live beside one, but... Let's see how bad our pollution is. Yeah, so we've got kind of like a little radius of pollution here, and if we can kind of keep the pollution for this region in there, um, then, uh, then we can avoid <coughs> the worst of it. <clears throat> hmm. There's kind of a double road situation going on here that I'm not thrilled about. That's okay, though. Hmm. Right, we've got just a little bit of industrial demand left, and we can probably start putting some commercial zones in. Let's take a look at how our traffic looks. Most of the traffic seems to be concentrated around the roads leading out to the... to the, um... farms. Maybe we'll do a little bit of commercial in the center here. And I want to do parks. Uh, how's my budget? Probably like, uh-oh. I thought we were going to crash for a second there. Yeah, I got lots of lots of room in the budget for parks. Let's rezone this to commercial. And let's start placing parks before I, uh, before I lose track of that goal of mine. I've really got to... Um, like I, you know, this is a good solution for sure. Um, we can fill in this little corner here. Uh, we'll put in a community garden and something medium, maybe a gazebo here and a medium park green. Kind of create this little park in the interior there. Uh, let's see if we can easily get a beach to here over here. Oh, that was not what I meant. I wanted to have them be level. We're going to have a lot of money, as I mentioned, so, you know, having a lot of money, why not? Uh, I'm going to leave that. Um, why not build some more uh, some more parks for sure? Let's grab the small park green and probably we're just gonna sort of spam these at this point. Uh, when we do when we do a, I'm gonna be building a port maybe next episode. Um, small flower garden. Let me do some of those. sure what the best way to do this is. Um, I like to have the park on the actual street. Of course, that blocks it off. Probably the best way to do it is in the middle of the block. Let's, let's go with the middle of the block for now. Sort of accessible, potentially, by the alleyway or something. way overkill here, but I don't care. Change it up a bit. Ooh, yeah, do some, uh, you know what, I'll keep going with those for a bit, just try and do a little bit less of them, and then I'll try and put in some uh, small park greens or whatever they're called. do this in a more systematic way as we expand. Um, that's my goal anyway, who knows? I might just get bored of placing parks and neglect to do it as well. So, no promises. No promises.
Right. And I think we need a hospital. We can probably almost afford one at this point. Oh, we got the statue. Just the state fair I need to find a spot for as well. statue. I think we can put it right there. city will kind of grow around it. I like the idea of it being near the water, though. It just doesn't seem like there's much room. This would be the spot along here, but that's just that looks like a good beach area as well. I'm not sure. Maybe a cruise ship port or cruise cruise ship port. That's what they're called, right? Uh, okay, I'm just going to stick it here, and we'll see how the city grows around it. Because this is not this is this weird V shape is is not going to last long. I'm going to fairly aggressively expand this. I'm just trying to sort of lay some of the groundwork. I think we're in good shape. Uh, yeah, we need a hospital. Do I want to just build the giant one? Could be one approach for sure. This one I think will cover the entire region, or almost. Yeah. Do a long term plan here for just need to make sure I have enough money to uh, to zone more afterwards because this will put us over budget for sure. Okay, it can fit here at the risk of taking up a no, there's not going to be a bridge there, probably a ferry, so that's fine. Okay. Let's just uh, level the terrain here. Make some space for this hospital. And then we can delete this road. Need one more tile. Uh, these modded buildings are not actually affected by the um, uh, by the by the 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 radius mod. Already occupied. What is it? A park? Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> So that actually fits nicely in there. It's kind of a nice location for the hospital too. Uh, the ambulance funding will keep the same. Yeah, they're pretty cheap hospitals though. They really are. They uh, make sure I don't have. Yeah, okay. I'm not a big fan of the Houston set, but uh, what I really don't want is those Euro contemporary buildings. They kind of they, they jive with my style. Okay, we've used up pretty much all of our, uh, we've got a little bit more commercial demand for sure. It's kind of main street strip here. That's my budget. On the brink, uh, as usual. Let's focus on this stretch, stretch here for commercial. The other thing that you guys will see, uh, and, and I've experimented with this extensively uh, on a regional level with this uh, this development 
method that I've been using that I'm going to try and use here. Uh, the other thing you guys will see is that what happens is we end up with um, we end up basically having most of our residential stuff in the neighboring city tiles. Uh, and uh, what will happen is basically these these all of these main arterial roads will be will be uh, commercial developments and uh, the the neighboring tiles will have most of the residential um, but most of the employment is going to be in this central tile at first so all of this is going to end up getting zoned commercial um, and then as as we densify the city we'll probably actually shift towards um, probably actually shift towards um, having very little uh, residential, you know, very dense but but sparse uh, residential zones in in this main tile. Uh, and so, so yeah, I, I've noticed as the region gets um, as the region gets bigger too. I'm gonna I'm gonna up zone the the uh, residential now, so we will be able to support all this as the region gets. Um, denser and bigger too. Uh, the transportation system, it, it sort of requires that we, um, it requires that we uh, basically put jobs closer to where people live, um, essentially. Fix up some of the detail work in here after, but just kind of zoning some, some denser residential near where we actually have jobs. Uh, we can probably zone all of this to the medium at this point. Just use up that demand. Very quickly we'll start to be zoning uh, medium commercial as well. Yeah, that, that looks good. I'll go fix all those little splotches in there, maybe off screen. Oh, we're running out of money. And seeming to have budget problems too. Whoa! I thought that was going to be a crash for a second there. I was I was concerned. Okay, now we're making money. Hopefully, I'll get the prison offer. That would be great. I don't think I've given them police yet. That's the other thing we need to do. Get the police station set up. Getting some. Uh, I guess we're getting a little bit of higher density here. Not much. Takes a while. Interesting. Oh, what's going on there? Yeah, and those jobless zots <laughs> are, are normal. Uh, they really are. Alright, I'm just going to leave that. Uh, and I think what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to expand this uh, this region outward. Um, oh yeah, no, there we go. We're getting, starting to get some uh, starting to get some apartment buildings. Good, 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 good. City hall for sure. Um, maybe along the strip here. It's a good spot. Of course, we could also make kind of a, a, a municipal square. That could be a cool thing to kind of plan. Yeah, maybe here. Maybe here. Uh, should be big, I think. How many tiles wide is this city hall? Make sure I got enough money. Three tiles wide.
make it easier to expand this to avenues and stuff later. There we are. And, oh yeah, I've got to now build the city hall on one side of that. Okay, that looks good to me. We can maybe put the courthouse here and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's uh, dezone that and fill it up with parks. Uh, hmm, I th I'm thinking large plaza. Or, or medium plaza, I mean. Yeah, medium plaza. And I'm just going to do... Uh, a bit weird, but we'll we'll add other stuff to this after. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll decide what to do with those extra tiles for now. I'm just gonna put those open grass areas there. Okay. Oh, we have another cemetery. I had put another church somewhere. Here it is. Ah, and there's the university. There we go. Might hold off a little bit on the university just because it takes up so much space. But I, I would like to have a, a kind of downtown res a university. Lots of jobless zots. Uh, it is going to be... It's going to be a problem, but it's a problem that will that I do I will be able to fix. Um, let's and you know, like as I said, it really the way it gets fixed is as I as I zone as I bring these um, commercial areas uh, closer to the residential areas, it's uh, it will it will fix that to some degree to some degree, and and upgrades to transportation and things like that. Um, the, tra the transport network will be densified, um, but there's going to be this. This development model does does run into a little bit of issues um, early on. I find I'm just not worried about it. And we've used up most of that demands. Anyway, I'm looking for a good spot for a university, but I'm not sure yet where I want to put it. Um. I'm liking the way this is uh, this is shaping up. Uh, I think the next step for me in this in this uh, series, let's uh, let's take a look at the regional map mode. I'm going to end this episode here because uh, I feel like we've done a lot. Uh, let's take a look at the regional map modes and get a sense of how uh, how the region is going to shape up. And there's two options uh, in terms of what I'm going to do next episodes. Um, Two options that I'm mulling around. So I can. We're up to 14,000. Uh, this is going to go up very quickly. Um, uh, I can. One thing I can do is I can uh, start working on this region right away, or I can expand this region. Uh, I can expand this region and start filling it out. Uh, and probably what I'll do is I'll expand Honestville until I run out of residential. I'm thinking this is the better idea uh, now that I think about it. I'll expand Honestville until I run out of residential demands uh, for for this or or uh, either that or fill it up. Uh, at which point I will I will you know start working on uh, North Ward, filling it out with agriculture, and then starting an industrial port area. I wanted to do some. Um, build up kind of, I have some seawall mod ins mods installed, I wanted to maybe try and build a seawall in the port area, so I think that could be really cool. Um, so yeah, Honestville is shaping up, I did a little, a lot of detail work in terms of parks and other things in, in the in the city, I forgot to put in the police, <laughs> so at some point we'll need to give them police, on the other hand they're not asking for them, so so that's fine, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm liking uh, I'm liking this map a lot. I'm very excited to see how it will develop. Um, the pace of development will will increase, you know, quite quickly over time. I think, uh, and yeah, so. Uh, uh, by all means, uh, leave me comments, name suggestions, all that as usual. I, very soon, I, I've got a list of like 10 or 12 name suggestions that I've received from uh, viewers. So I will be uh, putting all those on the map, naming these wards and, and things like that. Um, 
soon. I just I just wanted to wait until the region developed a bit more so I could make make more informed choices about uh, about where where those names are going to go. But thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. See you soon. Ciao.